Okay, so you read into the Boogie stuff, right? So so let I me let me lay it out a little bit. Yes. So Boogie self released some sort of documentary about himself, like and um when? Uh, like this week. And yeah. oh Jesus! Before no. it came out, oh, he yeah. tweeted and he was like, "I'm literally shaking." Because I'm like nervous about what people are going to think about, you know, the my the documentary that I made about myself, about myself, the tell all, yeah. um, the tell all about myself that I made and uploaded to my channel. And Taylor, what was the thing that was so embarrassing and so terrible that Boogie did? Uh, there was a lot of embarrassing stuff in there. And like, it's not on his channel. It's on some other guy, like a documentarian's channel. My bad. And we're like at the end that he was like, I've, I, you know, Boogie wasn't compensated for this and all that. But like the, it leads off with like him talking about how he has no money. He's broke. He's like showing his bank account on his phone being like, I've got two grand and I owe $170,000 on my house. And then it does like that docudrama style thing where it's like Boogie spent two hundred thousand dollars over the course course of four years on hookers, prostitutes, vacations, and sugar babies. It's called the dark, sad life of Boogie. Yeah. Yes. It's it's <laughs> another like you know, and they like had a psychologist on there who's like, this guy's just like addicted to self pity. Like he frames everything and woe is me and all that. But like, like there was some stuff in there that like made him look really stupid and shitty like the owing 170 grand on your house following his level of youtube success after blowing 200 grand yeah that's the exact picture 163 grand whatever it is on his house spending through 200 thousand dollars because he's in a bath there's so oh. much of this video of this documentary, <laughs> so much of it he's in a and bath he stole that from my, from my video yeah he stole that's, it from your video with, with wings but move. like he he was in the bath a lot which I hated. I wish you that the why, documentarian right? should like took him out of it. Yeah, because it's jarring. It's the strongest no, bath no. structurally they, in, on Earth. David Attenborough <laughs> explained this. They, see, these large marine mammals, when they get in water, they become Boogie more can't buoyant. swim, but he can run swiftly across the bottom of the basin. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> he will never leave the water permanently. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fucking hippopotamus. Oh, that's, that's, so bad. that's so funny. The North American <laughs> pity well <laughs> that's basically it yeah he's just a just a big fatty and he's there's it like opens up he's in the bath and his like 20 year old oh, girlfriend God. is like in the bath with him and they're both wearing swimsuits because they're like doing this and that and, he, and she's she like look? crawling up on him she's normal weight no describe uh, her though like, like how she look blonde uh there was a part in there that she's like like her little backstory was like jennifer or whatever the fuck is like uh, did not have a father figure growing up, and I was like, "That checks out." And exactly, so, she's eighteen. Oh, I, th I thought it said. Tw I think it's twenty. Like I'm pretty right, sure well, twenty is what it said next to her name in the little. Uh, Call him Zachary Liar. Uh, maybe I misremembered it, and she's eighteen. But I'm pretty sure it's twenty. Yeah, because he's like forty-seven, forty-eight. She's twenty. He's a big fatty, and she was like climbing him like she was like someone was going to jump on boogie's torso and then she would fly off of his stomach into the lake like <laughs> yeah. like ambling up onto him like the <laughs> and like they they're like doing a little kissing on the on the bat in the bath and that was reprehensible i hated it um Even fucking bouncy castle yeah What's, he's a 20 year old uh... girlfriend and she seems like pretty like like she has her own litany of issues like uh, was she fuckable that's what everyone wants to hear man like like I, you're skipping around here is she fucking oh like, is this a sexy young lady this is the we best have that, that she's over 18 right yes yeah she's, okay. she's over 18 uh i mean boogie's fucking her so, so God, damn it yeah, i'll like, have to see for myself like man. she's she is better looking than i could ever imagine someone like boogie being with would like you swipe right on her I don't know. I, I not Let's if there fall. was a bunch of troublesome back backstory. Not if like, you, not if I not if, if you I saw, saw that photo the, of her climbing on top of yeah, Boogie. Not if I knew that she had been with with Boogie Daddy and that was her not yeah. a damaged goods backstory. Daddy I don't know. issues are low, right? It, it seems <laughs> like crazy? I, I, depends I'm on the context. Gonna, <laughs> I'm not going to say anything <laughs> negative about her. She's just someone in the in boogie's like that shitty world. i didn't realize she looked like a victim now yeah. now, now that i've see that's what you say you like you say i don't want to sexualize her frankly she looks like a victim to me kyle and then i stopped doing that now i look like an awful person no just, you've right, never looked like a piece now. of shit on this show ever you made it once. sound like she was like a sexy <laughs> prostitute so anyway back to no
<laughs> yeah, I was yeah let's, go there too, let's cool Brandon. off here for a bit <laughs> and do a little 1940s math. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, see, like that's, shit. that's all right. Her. Now, this is funny as fuck. Okay, and, okay leave that, this up. Yeah, <laughs> this is so, our background for the rest of the show. Basically, so. and they also Boogie did a he made Magic the Gathering players look really bad which Magic the Gathering players don't need a lot to do. But one part of the documentary I didn't, like, enjoy. <laughs> like, he he has his, like, big gaggle of friends over for Magic the Gathering night or whatever. And they're all, like, big, fat guys who play Magic the Gathering, clearly not used to being on camera. And, like, Boogie's sitting there talking to him, being like, Joe, we need to start bringing girls around here more. You haven't dated in forever. And Steve... Uh -huh. When's the last time you were on a date, man? And it's like these <sighs> big fat guys who are like his friends who play magic with him. And it's like, this is this is not this Taylor, picture. Not, I, you know. Can we talk about this picture a little more? First of all, Zach yep. pointed out her toes yeah. are as long as fingers. That I had just confused. seen that. What is happening with like, it looks like the dog's been photoshopped or cut off there. His belly ends there. Yeah. Where's her big toe? There's, they're using. They're in front of a green screen, or they're using one of those onboard like, uh, like, like background blur things. It looks like to me, like a, like, oh, like. But it just did a it, bad job. You get it the reference, make, it right? It makes like, him look, look like it makes him look. Everybody like gets a what they're dressed up as, right? I don't, I don't know the what that and is. Well, he looks like a Pokemon yeah. Machamp because like he doesn't have a bottom half of his body. He uh, Geo dude mm. so you're thinking of? Or Geo dude. Yeah, yeah, sorry. There you go. I would say he's more of a Snorlax vibe. I, yeah, I, as movie. I look at her, I think this is a person who probably won't get super fat as she ages. No. Oh, so win for you, huh? <laughs> I, I wouldn't mm -hmm. I wouldn't I always say so. Woody, hypothetical single you, you do much better than this. That's all I'm saying. Oh. Thank you. Definitely. But like but she be hairy as fuck, belly button hair everywhere. <sighs> Uh, the life I could have lived. He talked about like yep. sleeping with prostitutes, and there was like even a like one of those interviews with a prostitute who like had the voice garble thing on like this, like, and oh, she no. was saying like I did sleep with Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight, and you know there are a lot of folds, and it <laughs> took me uh quite a while to find his penis, and like oh she didn't and, say that did she yes. Yes, there's there's a lot of folds, a lot of folds, and it took a while to find his penis. And so, like, and it wasn't just prostitutes. Like, I was texting with our group chat to Chiz, and Chiz was like, "There's no fucking way he spent 200 grand on prostitutes in four years." And I'm like, "Well, he's like rolling in like sugar babies and vacations and all of that sort of stuff into it." So, like, I could easily see that all while owing a mortgage and his YouTube career falling apart. By the way, which is like bad, bad planning for him. And mm. it was like there were. There were still a lot of parts of it where it was like kind of a woe is me kind of thing. Uh, he does like a, a shrooms trip to try and reset himself or something. And the dude who is like his shrooms guide was like, I can't believe they that the best clips they had of that dude was what they put in there. Because the guy literally said at one point, he's like, yeah, you just take these. And what it does is it resets yourself. And I'm saying this much more cogently than he did. He's yeah. like, and after you're done. All those atoms in your brain, they go back to their original place and kind of reset. And I'm like, yeah, all those atoms reset. Neurons like that's how no, he said atoms. He said <coughs> the Taylor, atoms you sound like a mind. science denier, quite frankly. Yeah, I don't trust the science and mm -hmm. I, I don't trust that science. That that no, sounded pretty sciencey. Yeah, the uh, atoms is a scientific word, but uh, I did, it didn't. It didn't sell me. Shaman denial. Um, yeah, you're a shaman denier. Uh, he it would, it would like throughout it. He would like go to do something else, and it would show his bank account, and he'd be like, "I have to go to Friday Night Magic because it's only thirty dollars, and if I don't show up, then people are going to assume I'm broke, and that's too embarrassing." And so I got to go. And then it like shows him leaving with his magic cards, you know, waddling out there. And it shows like a graphic where it's like what? in red minus $30 new account balance, 1906 or whatever. What the fuck, man? I, well, all right. Well, that look, is he still a friend of the show? I, you uh, know, yes. we, we, we don't dislike yeah. him. Like we don't uh, dislike him. But yeah. like, what do you say? When, I, you know, I'm not going to pretend like this isn't wild and sad. It's a bit know? salacious. Um, and then we have like a, a joke at his expense, to be fair. You know, yeah, or ten or hours of them. <laughs> <laughs> we had, uh, was it when Sam Hyde was on? Because Sam had that clip of himself on his show or whatever with with that other guy 
And the guy's like, hey, did you hear that Boogie has cancer? And Sam just starts dying laughing. He's just like, yeah, he thinks it's so funny. It's just like, so that kind of led us down a road of being a little negative, I suppose, when Sam was here. Well, well you did have cancer, right? That was real. Am I right? He did, that? but he had uh, basal cell carcinoma. Oh, this, come on. This, Me and the same beat one that cancer that you guys yeah, that oh, he, he my went bitch. through. He went through like a, a whole minute where he's like, I'm going to go through a list of everything that that's wrong with me medically. And he was like talking about his medical bills and everything. And like, it was one of those broken out lists where it's like, Oh, there's a huge amount of stuff on this list, but 80% of it is like a spin off or a tangent of being morbidly obese. He's like, mm. my blood pressure's high and I'm diabetic and this and that and this and that. And it's I like, you're, you're, yeah, you're my <laughs> triglyceride. It's like, yeah, but you're splitting into a million I'm things. What adds up to like, most of this is being morbidly obese. And then in the middle of the documentary, not even making himself look better, he's like, I'm broke. I'm flat broke. I need five chicken quesadillas from Taco Bell. <laughs> and then he would go and buy all those and and eat it, wolf it down. Wait, was he like, buying fast food? Like, like he, was he was buying, buying fast food. Dude, it was a 55-minute documentary. I think he had fast food five times. You know how much a chicken quesadilla... <laughs> how, how far do you push him, right? Like, we've had people on here who said things that I found to be unbelievable, and I feel like I, okay. I, I ended up pushing them to an awkward place that was uncomfortable for, for y'all at times. It's like, no, nah, If bro, Boogie was a billionaire, I would have been like, dude, I bet you fucked up a whole gang of people at that 7-Eleven. <laughs> Remember that guy, that Boogie's crazy story about like mean mugging people into pissing themselves and the one yeah. guy got, got in a knife fight, had a stab wound. I was like, show me this, where? Where? Where, where did, stab, where did right? the knife go in? Where did it go I beat in? myself up over right that there? Boogie interaction for like a year. I was it. like, how did I sit there and <laughs> let him get away with that obvious bullshit? Where he, so like, bizarre that you thought about this at all. Yeah, no, I was. I don't. I never like, thought about it again. <laughs> Good for you. No, I don't like me about that. Like I, I and the next time he came on the show, it's just polite. I brought it up again. It's polite, but yeah. it's it's a level of. If I told you I could fly when you're not looking, you'd be like, "What? You, what not, where are you going with this?" You didn't say you could fly. It, what if you just said? What if you just said on the show something? Like, you know, like, oh yeah, I. I did a I did a quadruple backflip, and I knew you only did a triple backflip. I wasn't gonna call you out on it or nothing, you know. Uh, I don't know. He he was just trying to let us know that he was a tough guy too. But maybe at the time we were all doing some tough tough guy shit, and he felt a little left out. He I'm probably came on and, and like, "What are you guys doing?" And I'm like, "I'm shooting fucking steroids in my ass." What you, Taylor? Oh, I'm fucking training for this new. I'm doing archery and like beating kids up at baseball games. And Woody's over there flying through the sky doing a motorcycle rider thing. And he was like, "Yeah, man, shit. I just punk." punk big guys out at gas stations and shit on the reg like just all up in their face punk just reg. just yeah. slapping them in the face with charleston yeah. shoes daring them to do something <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i just came in from the quickie mart and i got a whole handful of licorice yeah <laughs> it's like jurassic park the guy he was about to like dominate was looking at his cup of soda on the counter and durr, durr, <laughs> the, the reverberation of boogie approaching but yeah, I, um, I went down I, I this agree with rabbit you. I thought hole it was of a... musk interactions, and it was like, wow, 